Hello and welcome, Nate from Userlytics here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to invite observers to your moderated sessions in the Userlytics platform and give some general information about how they're going to join. So first thing you're going to want to do is actually create a study that is a moderated study. I'm going to be using this one right here that's already created. I'm going to be walking you through the steps how to invite those observers. So let's jump into the study. Now I'm in the test builder and I'm going to skip ahead to the scheduling aspect because this is where I'm actually going to invite the observers. Now from here, I'm gonna make sure that I confirm my time zone if I haven't done so already, and then I'm gonna save that. Now, you'll notice that there are some gray boxes. You may not see this. That is because in this example, I have my external calendar already synced up to this calendar. So if you'd like to do that, um, go ahead and select here to link your external calendar to the platform. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a session. You can create a session here, and you'll notice that there is an invite observer link. Great, go ahead and add the name and email of that individual uh, observer and then go ahead and create and that is going to send them an email with their link to join as an observer. Now, very, very important here, every time you add an observer, they're going to get an individual link sent to them. It's very important that observers do not share links to access the study. They must use the individual link that they have in order to um, be able to access and, uh, and not crash the session. So make sure each participant, or I should say observer, is using an individual link. Now, technically the system is going to limit you at five. If you need more than five observers, just reach out to your Userlytics representative and we can add some more observers for you, no problem. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add create. It's gonna tell me that I can't do it because I have gone ahead and not added anything in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and create. You do not have to add all of your observers before the session begins, or I should say even before it gets reserved. And that's actually not what I would encourage you to do. I would wait until a participant has actually booked a session with you and this says reserved and it's a slightly different color of blue. Then click in, uh, it'll have all the information about the session. You can go to edit and then you'll see this screen again where, is you, where you can go and add to the server. Again, I would encourage only adding observers to reserve sessions, but if you want, you can go add them beforehand as well. All right, now I'm gonna show you just a quick screenshot just so you can see what happens when I actually do have a reserve session. It's gonna look a little bit like this. I'll go ahead and select the reserve session. It's gonna show me that information. One thing that's important is you'll see this session links button. If you select that, you'll see all of the links for the individual participants moderator and observers. So if your observer loses or cannot access the link, maybe they didn't get the email, went to spam, you can always go into the reserve session, select selection, a session links and send them their individual observer link to join the session. If you have any more questions, simply reach out to your user Linux representative.